the Lord has not left me alone on this word. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you're so welcome to be here. I have a new little prophetic word and some new artwork to share with you guys today. I am so excited to share this new art. I've been working on this for a good bit wide now. So it's just a little introduction to some new characters I've been creating for a little something something. So grab your Bibles, grab a coffee, and we will get stuck into today's prophetic word. Along with being an artist, I also have been taking up a little bit of writing. It's been really interesting to get back into this. I did used to write a lot when I was younger, sort of like teenage years, which would have been about maybe 10 years ago now, and I'm really starting to feel old as I say that. Like I'm turning 25 in a couple of days and it's like... <laughs> Anyway, it's like nearly 10 years ago. I always used to love to write and to create stories and just to sort of get myself out of my comfort zone as a creative, just to not be just an artist or anything out there. I just decided just to do a little story, a little download as it were. I got an analogy a while ago. I'll probably show this in a separate video of just everything. And yeah, and I just spawned a little romance story, which has really been good for me just to create again and just to, you know, get myself out of my comfort zone and not just an artist. I can do other different bits and pieces. So don't pigeonhole yourself as a creative. As I was doing the story and just realizing the sort of character journey you will see in a few moments, like basically this character who I've created, you will see, I'll put a picture of her up here. Her name is Evangeline. She, it's just like a name that I love and like the name of my character, that's just like, oh. It's like my child. But anyway, so basically in the story, I'll sort of keep it spoiler free. I don't know if I'll publish it. I don't think it'll be that type of vibe. I think it's really just for me. And apologies for the lighting. It's sort of going sunny in and out. We haven't seen sun in Ireland for about a while. Basically, she goes through this journey. Her kingdom is seized. She is completely just displaced. And yet, even then, she is content in all the circumstances. And this is kind of where this wee word came into play. The verse that we are going to be in today for this wee word all about being content is in Philippians 4 verses 11 to 12. So it says this, not that I am speaking of being in need, for I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. I know how to be brought low and I know how to abound. In any and every circumstance, I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and need. And Jerome Ward says this about the context of this particular verse. It is an iconic verse in this iconic book, but we need to get the overall context as to what this book is actually about and what is actually going on in this time that Paul is writing to these people. So he put basically the Apostle Paul wrote this in when he was under house arrest and wrote to the Christians in Philippi. And this is in, described at the end of the book of Acts in Acts 28 verses 30 to 31. And he is waiting for a court appearance to appear before Caesar around the year 61 AD. This was to all the saints of Jesus who are in Philippi. The church of Philippi was founded by Paul for about 11 years before this letter on a second missionary journey. I'll put the scripture up for that here. And this was the first church established in the continent of Europe. So just as I was doing this sort of artwork, um, that's sort of the verse that kept coming to mind as this sort of story starts to gain a bit of legs and to gain a bit of momentum. Like, you know, I think for us as Christians, like, I don't know about you, but we've all gone through seasons of like dry spells and just feeling super discontented. Like sometimes, like I know for me, about a year ago, like as like a single Christian, I'll put the video up here of talking about my singleness journey, if you're interested, and just that I was not content, I was not, just not okay with where I was, and I think we can all sort of relate to that. Like we wanna get further on in our career and further on in our family to have more children or to get married or to get that next car. But just as I've been going through this particular art journey, I have really learned a lot during the story. Like you have to be content in wherever we are and it doesn't it doesn't take away from the moments of warf warfare that we have but just to really lean on God as our foundation. I think back to the scripture in Ephesians with the full armour of God. I did a study of this a while ago with Priscilla Shire. This was an amazing study. I highly recommend it. And she talked about how the shoes of peace was in like the Roman sort of warrior gladiator imagery that these shoes of peace that is talked about in this verse up here is that they have like these massive cleats and like they like keep you firmly planted and steady when you're going to war. And I really love that imagery of just like having the peace of God, which is also talked about in this um, book in the Bible, that just it surpasses all understanding that, you know, God really is our foundation and he does keep us content every season. And in, also in Enduring Word, it says that this is our Paul could say that his thankfulness was not based upon his own need. Even though Paul was in need, he was content with where he was at. 
even in imprisonment. And I don't know about you, but my problems seem very minuscule compared to this. Paul had to learn to be content. It is not natural for us as humans to be content. And in the verse where he says, I know how to be a base and I know how to abound, Paul reminds us that his content was not only theoretical, he actually lived it. He probably would have been financially well off and he probably would have been financially in need. I think that's just why I want to encourage you guys today just to be content in where you are at. If you are single and you're waiting on a husband, you're just not content, I would highly encourage you just to keep walking with God and let him know your feelings on this because he is a big God. He can take your feelings if you're not feeling content, if you're feeling angry, if you're feeling sad, if you're feeling anxious or depressed or whatever the case may be, that he can take this and that he is with you in all circumstances. We did talk about this in church. I will keep looking at my church. We talked about suffering quite a a conversation and just that you know lament is never final and lament is only temporary and that God is with us in our in our circumstances in the suffering of when we aren't content so that's why I just want to encourage you guys to say with this scripture up here that he will never leave you and he will never forsake you and I will show you the new artwork I've been working on so basically the first one I'm going to show you so this particular one the first one is like sort of like princess vibes like she has like red sort of strawberry blonde hair she's in like her royal attire which I really love doing like my her head is just like oh my god but anyway so yeah like she is like dressed fully decked out in this attire and that she is just like in the sort of like more privileged sort of vibe if you get what I mean and then just with the next one that I completed not too long ago and then in the next one that she is like completely just like stripped off of all like the jewelry and the royal clothes and the lovely nice things but yet even this one she looks far more happier and far more content and that's kind of what i wanted to get at in this thing like you know you could have all the things in the world you could have the money and you can have the fame but yet you could be probably miserable in your own little head so i just want to encourage you guys that you know this word is temporary and that you know we have our foundation of god and he is our portion he is our prize and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little prophetic word today just to be content in all your circumstances. So let me know what you guys think of that new art. Let me know if you want me to create a whole video on this little story thing that's happening. If I were to do it, I would probably keep my writing sort of separate from this channel and separate from like on your effort art altogether. That's sort of like just my thing. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to give a wee like and subscribe to my channel down below. And let me know what your thoughts on this video and let me know if you have any prayer requests and I will pray over every single one of them down below in the comments for you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!